Now before we leave chapter 6 behind, I wanted to show you a couple more tricks of the trade. So I'm going to be doing a different problem here. This one's talking about 5% um, of Americans are afraid of being alone in a house at night. If a random sample of 20 Americans is selected, find the probability that blah blah blah. So I did a couple things here. Um, first of all, because we're talking about 20, I actually went in and typed in 20 different numbers into um, actually 21 different numbers because 0 gets included as well, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay, So I did all that just to kind of help myself out a little bit. Now, let me clear all my old junk because I don't need any of that. I'm going to clear this. Now how do I find the probability that exactly 5 people in the sample of 20 are afraid? Okay, so, well that's a pretty easy thing. Second, distribution. And I gotta go find the binomial one, which is over here. There it is. Enter. And then I want to tell it, look, I'm looking f at 20 people, so 20, comma, 0.05, right, because it's 5%, 5 percent, 5 percent is 0 0.05, comma, 5, because I want this exact probability, right, enter. There it is. So this one right here is exactly 5, so that would be binome, whoopsie, binome, PDF, uh, 20 comma 0.05 comma 5 which would be 0 0.0022 okay now the next thing gets a little bit more dicey find the probability that at least three okay okay but you're looking at a sample of 20 people so at least three could be three people four people five people six people seven people right you'd have to add all of those probabilities Ugh. all right there's got to be an easier way and there is what you could do, actually there are a couple different ways, let me show you one of them. Um, what I could do is second distribution, pick binome PDF just like before, enter, and I tell it 20 comma 0 0.05, I close my parentheses right now, okay, and I'm, I don't have to do this right now but I'm going to do it, I'm going to press enter there's the list right there's zero right there there's one right there and so on I'm gonna tell it to store that for me in L2 because I already have 0 through 20 stored in L1 so if I make it stored in L2 right it's done so stat edit I can see hey look there are all the probabilities Woo. okay so they want at least three okay three is right here at least three means three or more so I'd have to add up all of these probabilities. Okay, there's got to be an easier way. What if I took 0, 1, and 2, these three top probabilities at the top? What if I added those? And that's what you would do. You'd add the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1 plus the probability of 2, which would be 0 0.3585 plus 0. 3774 plus 0 0.1187. Now notice I've rounded a bit there. Okay, let me go back here. Quit. Oops, I wanted you to be able to see this. Alright, so if I do this, 0 0.3585 plus 0 0.3774 plus 0 0.1187. Enter. Alright, I get 0. 8546. That means that what I was really looking for, the probability of at least 3, is 1 minus what we just found, which would be 1 take away second. Okay, now see this right here, ANS? It'll take your last answer. I mean, you could just type 0.8546 if you like, but 1 minus the last answer, enter. There you go. It found it for you. Cool. 1454. Now, there is another way to do it that uses binome CDF, the other one, but I don't feel like covering it in this tutorial because I've run out of time. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the next tutorial. All right, see you. Bye.